Hello everyone and let's talk Ways to Be Me by Libby Scott and Rebecca Westcott. This is part of a series called Can You See Me? Um, or it is also called Tally. This is the prequel. There's three books in the series. Um, technically there's a total of four. I mean this is a prequel but then depending on where you look sometimes it's considered book one. Not the prequel. So basically there's a total of four books and this is the first one. So, this is a middle grade and it is a contemporary. Libby Scott um, is autistic and Tally in this book is autistic as well. So, this was the selection for March for the Autism Reads uh, read along that I host where we read a book by an author that is autistic every month. So, this was the March selection. In this book, Tally is 10 years old. What I like about this is that you have the standard novel type format, but then you also have, let me find one, uh, journal entries. So like A Tale of Two Tallies, what it's like for Tally at school versus home, um, situations like that. So she writes in, in a journal about her experience being autistic, being not diagnosed because she's in year six in school. This takes place in the UK, so I'm not sure exactly what grade in America that would be, <laughs> but year six. And she's trying to figure out how to be accepted. So she's like masking is what it's called, where she acts a certain way around her friends, says certain things, does certain things, adjusts how she acts and everything, what she likes, doesn't like, so she can try to be accepted more by her peers. Uh, and you're just following as she learns that. So in this particular book, we are following before she is diagnosed autistic, when the word autism starts and autistic starts to be thrown around, uh, as far as she might be on the autism spectrum and her parents want to find out so that they can know what to do to try to help her cope and deal with things. And then after and her learning that it's not a bad thing, that it's just a part of who she is, but she's more than just autistic. So I really enjoy this and I highly recommend this to learn a little bit more about autism. Um, and obviously everyone that is autistic is, has different ways that they cope, things that they like, this like, just like everybody else, everyone's different. Um, and things affect us all differently. It's just with autism, at least in my experience, things tend to be more heightened. Like the sounds tend to be a little louder and and colors brighter, especially when I'm on kind of like an overload. So, but that's how it affects me um, in just a minor way. So one of the ways it affects me. So that's pretty much it. She's in year six. Um, you do have some bullying in this, so do be aware of that. Uh, that is your content or trigger warning for this is the bullying. Uh, there is one point in this where there is a horse and the person that works at this facility with the horses talks about how sometimes people are drawn to their own kind. Um, and for example, she's, she uses the example of certain types of horses with per certain personalities and people with certain disabilities might be kind of drawn to each other and how you can kind of relate more to certain people and so you see someone struggles and you understand and can empathize a lot better than someone who doesn't have those struggles and so you kind of are drawn together more so than someone that's not so that you can kind of not commiserate but understand each other and, and you can just kind of you see that connection a little bit more with people. Uh, so yeah so that's pretty much what it is just going through year 10 finding out that this word autism is about what it's about, what it means, that it, that she is more than just being autistic, and how it kind of having the right diagnosis for something can make you understand or help you understand things. Like for me, I was diagnosed with major depression. I was diagnosed with um, borderline personality disorder and borderline schizophrenia which were all invalid and not correct diagnoses. It finally took talking to someone and them asking the right questions for them to go, you are autistic and to get the right diagnosis. So, you know, it just, yeah. Once you have that right diagnosis and in my case and how it explains it in this book with it helps her family kind of understand why she does the way she does, 
thinks and acts. It helps them understand, okay, things are just a little bit more difficult at certain times, and so what can we do to try to make things just a little bit easier so they're not quite so overwhelming? It just kind of sheds a, a different light and helps you understand things. So yeah, so that's what this is. It's a contemporary life story of Tally at age 10 as she goes through year six trying to fit in and figuring out that being autistic is not a bad thing. So again, your content or trigger warning is bullying. This is told in third person. This was published in 2021. And the only words that you have, you have the word God coming up once, not in a religious use. And then you have hell two times and damn one time. The language in middle grade is never really that bad. So very rarely do I have anything pop up. Now, I do have a couple of things tabbed. I will read a few to you. Not all of them, because I do want you to find these gems on your own if you decide to read this. The whole truth is never just one thing. The whole truth is always made up of lots of smaller things that weave and flow around each other. And more than one thing can be true at the same time. Let's see. Having autism is an aspect of you that you can't control, but mostly because autism is not a fault. Autism is not the problem. It's a reason for the way you feel and not something to feel ashamed of. And then the last one I'll tell you that I highlighted. You can still be a star even if even when you're hidden in the depths of the shadows. And actually, if you really think about it, stars always shine their brightest when everyone else is at everything else is at its darkest. So, yeah, I enjoyed this. I highly recommend, especially if you have someone in this target range where maybe they know someone or are looking at being diagnosed autistic or you just want them to understand people that are autistic, I highly recommend this because it's done in a way that I think they can understand and go, it's not bad. It is not a bad thing. You just have different struggles and some things are just harder than others. So yeah, thoroughly enjoyed. Highly recommend. Let me know. Have you read this? Uh, have you read anything else? I think this series is the only one that Libby Scott has done. Let me find, does she have, oh, in this particular book, there's not anything that's about the author. Unless I'm looking at like an excerpt. Yep, yeah, that's what I was doing. I was looking at the excerpt from another book. That's what I was doing. All right, let me go before that. Acknowledgements. I don't want acknowledgements. So there's not really an about the author, probably because I think Libby Scott is a minor. So there's not really about the author, but Libby does have in this uh, Libby's top tips on how to be friends with an autistic person. And so there's, she has a couple of tips in here, 10 tips. So that was fun to go through as well, but yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, let me know if you've read this. Are you interested in this? Or is this one that is going to be a pass for you? Let me know. Talk to me in the comment section below. And until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I'll talk to you later.